Oh, hey, uh, it's really early. Give me just a just a second. Just a second. <laughs> that is much better. I'm Jeb Brooks with GreenerGrass.com. Thanks for taking some time to watch the video. Right now, I'm in Dubai. It's four o'clock in the morning. I'm on my way to Brussels. Now, this is incredibly exciting because I'm in Emirates' brand new first class cabin on one of their new 777s. Now, I got almost no sleep last night because I'm so excited about this. I'm trying to keep my voice down so other people in the hotel don't hear me. Um, it's taking everything I've got. So I'm counting on a combination of adrenaline and caffeine to keep me going through this experience. And I certainly hope you'll join me because I am sure there's a lot to take in. Let's get started. But wait, first I've got to tell you about how this trip almost didn't happen. Let's go back a few weeks to Nashville, Tennessee. I had to call Emirates because I realized the plane I booked was one of the old versions. Right, are, are either of the two um, middle seats available, the ones in the, in the middle there? Fortunately, their customer service line was able to help out. 2F, that's great. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. I want to check out those, uh, I guess they're fake windows, yeah. And just like that, the flight was booked. Now, back to present day and Dubai. Business class and first class passengers can book cars so with much. chauffeurs making it easier to get to the airport. Now, I was lucky to get this beautiful Mercedes, and the ride to the airport was as easy as could be. After check-in, I headed to the lounge. Is there a better way to prepare for an Emirates flight than with breakfast and a massage in the first-class lounge? I think no. All that relaxation went out the window, though. When I was done with the massage, I looked at my phone and it said boarding had begun. I rushed off as fast as I could all the way to the other side of the airport to discover that, in fact, boarding didn't mean boarding. It just meant access to the gate. I wish I'd known that before. It turned out the ground crew in Dubai let us on the plane a little too early. When I got to the end of the jet bridge, there was somebody working inside the plane and the cabin crew hadn't even arrived yet. On the way into the airport, there's a billboard that, that says that this new suite is a game changer. And uh, my first impression is Emirates hit it right when they called it a game changer. This is, this is out of this world. It's unbelievable. Here is suite 2K. It's on the side of the airplane and has actual windows along with binoculars. You'll notice it's smaller than my suite 2F. Now this is of course in the middle of the plane and affords more space just by volume. The sides of the suite go straight instead of curving as you'd have to do on, on the sides of the plane. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Shortly after takeoff, that door was closed. There are a few presets on the seat in terms of uh, the way it, it, you can have it um, uh, set with these automatic buttons. There's takeoff and landing, of course, live flat, of course, dining, which I guess gets you closer to the tray table, and then this zero gravity thing that I'm in right now. and. <laughs> You know, it is, it's up to its hype. I am so relaxed right now. 
If you saw my interview with Sam Chui, you know I'm a fan of Emirates Martini, so I ordered one. Not only does Emirates provide fantastic slippers, but the floor is lit as well. <laughs> also, I was just struck by the fact that this is the only time I've been able to say that is a beautiful seatbelt. And as long as we're down here, take a look at the seat. This is so detailed. There are actually lit mirrors on the armrests that, that nobody would really ever notice. This thing is massive. I mean, there is no way to capture how big this suite is uh, on a screen. I'll, I mean, I'll try, I'll do my best. It's massive. This, this thing, this thing is incredible. Uh, it's, it's massive. I mean, you can't really call it a seat. Uh, so, Sam Chewy was calling it uh, a lounge and a disco and a hotel room and, and a seat uh, in the sky. And I think all that's true, but it seems bigger than that. I mean, I feel like I could have somebody in here with me and I wouldn't even know it. I mean, this is a crazy, uh, crazy amount of space. You may know the floor is lit. In other words, those are lights. Uh, but what you may not realize is it's a cushion too. In other words, this is the highest altitude trampoline there is. I mean, seriously, I'm... This is crazy. <laughs> so now it's time for a few things I don't particularly care for. Uh, now, it's ridiculous to even say that because this is the honestly the most luxurious and decadent and wonderful experience I can imagine in the sky. Um, but, it, I, you know, I feel like I need to point out a couple of things. Um, so first of all, when it comes to looking out the window, I love the fact that I'm in a middle seat with these virtual windows. I mean, it's crazy cool, right? Um, but I can't adjust the perspective. So, um, in other words, this is the view, right? And it's... Um, Hold on, let me get this one. There we go. This is the view. So if I, like, ordinarily in an airplane, you could look up or down. Can't do that here. The other, th the other thing I'm gonna sort of point out is this guy right here. I started off wearing the headphones because I don't like these headphone jacks that require three plugs. I like to use my own noise canceling headphones. Uh, I use Bose, and I can't do that on this plane unless I get an adapter, which I don't have, so I wish they didn't have that. Other than that, frankly, guys, <laughs> this is perfect. For the longest time, I've wondered what's in this tray table in this in this seat. Nobody's, at least as far as I've seen on YouTube, gone over it, so it may be out there, and if it is, um, I've missed it, and I'm sorry, you can skip past this part, but I'm dying to know, and I haven't looked yet. So, um, I know I can keep whatever is in here. It's, it's mine to take away with me as a souvenir, I guess, so I'll take it. First off, an Emirates notepad. It's pretty nice. That'll be useful, and um, an Emirates pen, it's a good thing, and then some, well, let's see, I guess this is makeup? I don't, I don't know what this is. This is outside my, my area of expertise, but it's also, I don't even know how to open it up. This is kind of complicated. It involves <laughs> using the Emirates pen. Now we're in. All right, let's see here. So... A towelette. I'm good. Um, facial toner. I don't even know what that does. Eye cream. I guess it's useful. <laughs> pillow mist. Oh yeah. Gotta have some pillow mist. And then this little tiny thing called sleep oil. Well, I'm doing my best not to sleep because there's so much to see in here, so maybe I should seal that back up. Anyway, so maybe somebody else has covered it. I haven't seen it, so I'm happy to share it with you, and uh, I'll make some notes about the seat in my new Emirates notepad with my new Emirates pen. Um, let's keep on exploring. Let's try a video room service call. Um, yeah, the food, right? 
I did, yes, thank you. Ah, oh, that's very good, that's very good. And I, I would... Can I offer you something? Yes, tell me. Yes, I'd love to have lunch if I could. I think you heard that. May I have lunch? So I passed the time by looking out the window, or the virtual window, which really was incredibly sharp. Uh, almost sharper than looking out the window yourself. This is one of Emirates' newest 777s, which means it has new cabins across the board. It's not just first class that's new. They've improved every one of their cabins. Now, this is the economy class, and it's organized in a 343 format. The business class cabin, and I've got a video coming out very soon about that, is arranged in a 232 format. And after passing through business class, we're back in first class where we see an old friend. I want to give you a sense of the space, and I really couldn't figure out a way to show you how big this suite is. And I think you'll certainly agree, it's beautiful. While I never flew with Emirates in their old first or business class cabins, I find the aesthetic to be much more appealing here. But what do you think? What do you think about this cabin compared to the old one? Which do you prefer? Leave a comment. Let me know. But now, it's time to eat. Let's dig in. look at a few of the details. So you can control the temperature of the room. Now you're limited to the temperature of the airplane as a minimum, but you could certainly make it hotter. Now this screen at the left has several controls for the TV and so forth. There's a plug here, an international plug, which was very useful and fits most anything, along with a USB and an HDMI plug. There's also a USB-C plug hidden down in the armrest. Now here's the headphone jack. I mentioned it before, and it's down to the left uh, on the armrest. Quick note about the closet or the little cubby to put your bag in. I have a US-sized carry-on, and it was a little bit too big. I had to move some things around to get it to fit. Now here's the light feature. I, I really do think this is killer. This particular screen controls a number of things, including giving you some flight information and uh, the temperature as well. Um, you can set it not to disturb, and, and all the lighting. Watch this, you want me to change the lights? Great idea. Blue, it just happened. Hey, while we're doing that, I, I'm not really feeling blue, I'm feeling green. I counted them up, there are 27 lights on the ceiling uh, that, uh, that you can control. Emirates in-flight entertainment is killer. Not only can you watch live TV, as I was for just a brief period of time, but there are also hundreds of movies, tons of television shows. It's practically endless. Hey, so I'm lying in bed now, and on the, uh, the Emirates first-class suite inside the 777, and like, this bed is super comfortable. I, I've slept in many uh, hotel beds that are actually less comfortable than this one. Now, to be fair, I, I haven't really slept on airplanes very much. I, I usually am too excited to sleep. I, as you guys know, I love to fly. Uh, but 
this is really nice. I wouldn't have set up the bed, but the purser absolutely insisted. She said I had to try it. So fortunately, you know, I'm booked in 2F and the seat right across the hallway uh, was available. So she set it up here and this, you know, this, this is really comfortable. I can't, <laughs> I might actually fall asleep. I hope not, there's more flying to see. So this is Jeb sleeping in his suite and he's snoring after drinking all the Dom Pirignon and all the wine that we have on board. He left, he left his suite with the live cameras and he came and he had all the champagne. Lies, and lies, all the wine. lies. And he gave a very hard time to the cabin crew. <laughs> I was Our a terrible, babe, terrible passenger. We started with Mr. Broke, Brooks and now we ended up by Jane. <laughs> Terrible passenger. <laughs> the Terrible band. passenger. I'm banned from Emirates. One passenger like him, I will resign from it, from this <laughs> job. <laughs> after after so many years. After so many years, I will quit this job if I have passengers like him. <laughs> and he is having his interactive camera. He's watching the captain exactly what he's doing. Because he said, I don't trust captains. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, keep an eye on this guy. If you see him coming on the flight, please offload yourself. I'm trouble. <laughs> After all of that fun, I did decide to play around with Emirates' interactive system. And it is really one of the best I've ever seen. I was able to monitor uh, everything that was going on in the cockpit. There were a number of different views that were available in terms of cameras and, and virtual reality, including this, the opportunity to go over the entire route. Uh, I was able to get a sense of, of many of the cities that we flew over. I really can't say enough good things about the Emirates in-cabin entertainment uh, or ICE system. So I'm, I'm literally changing clothes. I, I just got out of my pajamas and uh, those are moisturizing pajamas, by the way. Somehow they make your skin more moist. I don't know, it's like the 80,000 creams and lotions that uh, Emirates provides on the flight. Uh, the pajamas are one more. Anyway, my point is this. I'm changing clothes at my seat. The only other place in the sky I think that's possible is the residence. So, uh, you know, because otherwise you, you don't have a fully enclosed sweet and you offend somebody and in my case I'm probably only offending you and that's okay so to me this is a game changer I mean the verdict is in uh, I can't say enough good things about uh, both the hard product which is incredible and the soft product I mean the cabin crew have been awesome I've gotten to spend a little bit of time with the captain and he was super warm and welcoming uh, as well um, I absolutely love uh, Emirates' new first class, fully enclosed suite. To me, it feels like home. It feels, you know, uh, um, Sam Chui, my friend, said that, uh, you know, he looks at it as a lounge and a, and a, and a hotel and a restaurant and, and, and so forth. To me, it's home. I mean, I, I, this space is my own while I'm here. I mean, I can do basically, you know, whatever I'd like to do in it. If I want to sleep, not a problem. Um, and nobody's going to interrupt me. If I want to eat, I can do that. And nobody's going to interrupt me. If I want to watch a movie, I can do that. And nobody's going to interrupt me. And that's unusual in the sky. If you think about it, they're really, I can only think of one other product that does that. And it's the residence. And, um, don't get me wrong, this is a super luxurious uh, experience, but it's not quite like that. So I feel like, I feel like this is, um, let me call it a mini residence. I think that's true. But you know, what's funny, not everybody agrees. I just add, there's a guy um, in a suite right over there and I asked him what he thought and his response, <laughs> honest to goodness, I said, so what do you think of this? I mean, pretty incredible, right? He said, uh, I don't know if he's ungrateful or if he just has a different perspective than I do, but from my seat, this is not, uh, this is incredible. Is this the best flight ever? You tell me. And you better tell me quickly because we're about to land. Just before touchdown, Emirates asks you to rate the flight. I didn't have much trouble picking that one.
So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed putting it together and experiencing this. It's been amazing. Look, if you liked it, click that thumbs up button. I sure would appreciate that. If you didn't, uh, I understand. Just click the thumbs down button twice. I'm only kidding. I get it. Hey, um, more than anything, I really hope you'll leave a comment. Let me know what you think or subscribe. That makes all the difference in the world. I really appreciate you taking the time to, to watch the video and um, see you in the sky.